Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I hope you're doing well and if you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. A 33-year-old wife and mother of three from Canis, Utah, who recently published a children's book on how to deal with grief after losing her husband, has been arrested and charged with his murder. 39-year-old Eric Richens was found deceased at the foot of his bed in their home on March the 3rd, 2022. An autopsy determined that he had died from a fentanyl overdose and the medical examiner said that he had five times the lethal dose in his system. Corey claims that she had made him a drink that evening in celebration of closing a deal in their real estate business before going to bed with her child, who she said was having night terrors. She said she found Eric unresponsive when she returned to their room and called 911. Now, the police had seized many items from their home, including their electronic devices. Investigators found multiple text messages from Corey's phone to a local drug dealer. A couple weeks before Eric had died, she texted asking for a potent drug and Michael Jackson stuff. She ended up purchasing $900 worth of fentanyl pills. So as you can imagine, all eyes are on Corey. On Valentine's Day of 2022, Eric told a friend that he thought his wife was poisoning him after he got sick from eating a sandwich that she had prepared for him. He also reportedly told family members to look at Corey if anything ever happened to him. Is it possible that he had a premonition of his own death? Eric was seeking a divorce shortly before his death. Now, Corey had published a book after her husband's death dedicated to teaching kids to cope with grief. She has been charged with first degree murder and prosecutors are saying that they have strong evidence. I would say so. I mean, if they have stronger evidence than the fact that she purchased nearly a grand worth in fentanyl pills shortly before her husband mysteriously died from fentanyl poisoning after she prepared him a drink, then she is really going down for sure. A coworker has come out and said that she is extremely shocked to hear that Corey is being charged with murder. Anyways, guys, that's all we really know about this case so far, but I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more so don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and make sure that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any updates and other videos thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you in my next one